so OAG has two divisions that deal with Medicaid fraud, civil Medicaid fraud and the Medicaid fraud control unit. The civil Medicaid fraud folks almost exclusively uh, go after Medicaid fraud recoveries pursuant to the Texas Medicaid Fraud Prevention Act. So uh, they are uh, the recipient of information that's brought to them by whistleblowers. Uh, the whistleblowers are called relators pursuant to the TMFPA. Uh, they bring, they file a suit under seal. Uh, a disclosure statement is provided along with that sealed lawsuit to the, OA, to the Office of Attorney General. That's when the investigation starts on the civil Medicaid fraud perspective. Um, currently, we've got about uh, 360 plus pending key TAM actions. And out of those actions, there's 20 of them that deal with dental or orthodontia fraud. Out of those 20 orthodontia cases, they have over 400 dentists and orthodontists who are listed as potential defendants in those cases. They're listed as defendants in those cases. 20 cases, 400 defendants. 400 plus uh, defendants. So each one of those cases now is in the process of being evaluated. And that's one of the difficult tasks, obviously. They're resource intensive. And so when our numbers started to skyrocket, we needed to look for a way to facilitate and to expedite, but more than anything, find a way where we could tap into resources that were already being done, statements of witnesses being taken, document review, uh, the, the review of the utilization history of, of different physicians uh, involved. 